Hello everyone, thank you very much for tuning in. This is a quick test upload of a gameplay video that I captured using my Elegato HD60 S Plus video card. So as you can see, the game I'm testing this out with is Dragon Quest Heroes from 2015 it looks like. Uh, this is a game I never got to finish back in the day, so I'm working on it for my Steam library. And I thought it would make just a really good test video. So right now you're going to be noticing a bit of a delay here. So one thing I noticed is that the sound was a little bit muted when I started recording. So I was just playing with the audio setting on my TV set just to get it to a decent level so I could hear what was happening. That's something I'm going to have to test and work out with using my video card. Seeing if that's something normal, if that's something I can rectify in the settings. This is my first time recording with this. And so, but that's it. The video quality looks fantastic. It, um, one issue that I'm going to have to rectify is that I was recording and playing from my laptop. And it's a fantastic little gaming laptop, but it heated up a little bit more than usual because, well, this is a game that does have some fairly good settings. I have everything set up to the highest graphical settings on my laptop, which requires about 8 gig of video RAM. Not much, but can get a little warm, but also recording in HD format seems to heat it up more than usual. And I do like to avoid that. So I'm going to have to break out my desktop and see if I can play from my gaming laptop and record to my desktop to prevent that little extra heating. It's always good to make sure you avoid that just to preserve the lifespan of your gaming laptop. So now that's that technical bit of, uh, of what about is said onto the game and this is just the latest story mission already finished some all the optional quests leading up to this and all told this is really one of my favorite games to play I love the Muso or Warriors series as it's known here in the West and I also dearly I also dearly love Dragon Quest yes and as you'll notice I've used the Japanese voices even if I wasn't a fan of that which I truly am I absolutely hate with a passion the accents that the Dragon Quest localizations have been using for many years now. Being from a European descended family myself, these accents really grate on my nerves. And so and you're gonna be seeing a little bit of that in some of the dialogue. It's it it, it really gets almost parodic and I don't know if the localizers get it that if you come from these places hearing the accents cranked up to 11 just it's not offensive it's just annoying really and so I really just appreciate just the standardized Japanese of the voice actors here but there is an English dub option for those of you who prefer that And as you can see, the game just runs smooth. And yes, Terry, he's my go-to just because in the first Dragon Quest Heroes, he pretty much kills everything. He's basically your your boss killer and your and your most OP character in the game. So he's great. I like to include Yangus because he can take off the defense of most sub-bosses and bosses, just go for the magic and your main character, because he's the main character, and you can't swap him out, no matter how much you don't like him. As there are really a lot of better characters in the game. And yeah, that's what I said. If you read that, oh lord, do those accents grate on me. They, they really, really do. I really spent a little bit more time on this level than I really meant to. It's a bit of a maze, so I took a little bit more time trying to figure out, okay, where to go 
and how to accomplish goals. Okay, the Hackasaurus. These guys at your current level are tanks, and they can they can really do some damage on you if you don't if you just don't go all out on them. There's Jessica with the uh, Crackle, with the, your go-to Ice spell. That freezes everything, and of course the Lightning, and Death by Sexy Beam. Come on, two of us wouldn't want to go out that way. Now, if this wasn't just such a... The level itself is really nothing, otherwise I would have liked to have used that rock bomb metal just to see, okay, what exactly do those things do? Since it's been about a good five years since I've uh, played this game previously and I'm replaying it for the first time in that long. But I do love the monster metal mechanic in this. Being able to summon monsters for just to guard certain points. And yes, I really do love Yangus. As much as I loved Yangus back in Dragon Quest VIII and didn't mind his voice actor there, I just much prefer his Japanese voice. It just... It just sounds so much more natural. Sorry. Just... The accents are too exaggerated in English dub. But yeah, just a little bit more commentary here. So if you're not up on what exactly this game is about, basically it's a fan service game. You're playing as past characters from previous Dragon Quests, and you have two heroes on their own story, so it's a fan service game. You're playing as classical heroes, teaming up, being brought together from separate worlds. Typical crossover stuff. Really great fan service material, though. And the characters are done a lot of justice in the 3D Muso format. They really did a great job in adapting typical Dragon Quest gameplay to the Muso formula. Yeah, and just reading those accents, uh, let me just say again, I hate even reading them. So like, it's not offensive. I'm not going to go SJW here. It's just annoying. I know what those actions should sound like. I know how they should read. And that's not it. And it wouldn't even be so bad if they didn't crank the cheese factor up to 11. Yes, I'm sure kids love them. I really do, and that's great. And if you find them amusing, that's fantastic. Man, it's not an offensive angle. It's just, I'm from that kind of place, okay? this The cheese angle just grates on me if you, if you know how it should sound. And if you grew up with those kind of accents. But should anybody find it offensive? No, come on. This is being done in fun. Sure, it misses the mark, but that's it. And I'm using Yangus a bit more in this level just because he has some really great crowd control levels. Sorry, crowd control moves. And the anti-defense move he has, I forget what it's called, but it is just a fantastic move for armored enemies. They just go down so much quicker. And the real purpose of me playing through this is, is just to really get the footage. And just an aside, okay, that was a really great little still moment of the hero pulling off the flame slash. If I can just get into another little aside here on Terry, I love his characterization in this game. He always came off as a loner and a jerk back in Dragon Quest VI, and his voice actor is pretty much 
channeling Vegeta while have while the design is definitely Trunks. No surprise since Kira Toriyama is the designer here. So I just really love how he's written, portrayed, and acted. It's fantastic. One of the best characters in Dragon Quest being done a lot of justice with voice acting. Okay, and that was a mistake, as I should have gone through that portal, but like I said, this level... This level's a little bit weird, and you need to play through it once or twice just to get what you're supposed to be doing. Yes, and I'm just spamming the lightning whip here, just because it's a great crowd control move, a lot of power, and Jessica's awesome. And there's my Hakasaurus from my Monster Metal, just guarding the door while we go about just clearing all the monsters from this level. And we'll do this guy a favor and do it by Sexy Beam, because, come on, like I said, it's how we'd all want to go. And you'll notice I missed an enemy there, and that's going to come back to haunt me in a few minutes, because I'm going to be looking for that one last enemy and have to go through a few gates to get him. Yep, there's a gate spamming enemies done. Open the chest, Jessica. Thank you. And now... And now just clear the rest of these grunts. again. Like I said, Terry is awesome with single enemies, but with crowd control, not so much. That's why when I want to just take out massive groups, I use Jessica or Yangus. They have awesome crowd control moves. Yes, why won't the door open? I've gotten them all. Where's that last one? Darn it. No one there. And there we go. And I just switched over to Terry there just in case anything final enemies came out, but nope. And again, there's Terry channeling Vegeta. Looks like Trunks talks like Vegeta. I love it. Oh, and these accents. Yeah, I just try to read them and hear a normal, typical way of speaking my voice without all the exaggerated European accents. But I really wish Dragon Quest would just knock that off. And it's one of the reasons why I haven't picked up Dragon Quest Eleven yet. Because I know they're going to continue that trend. Yep, back to your home base on the airship, and we are just about done. After every mission, of course, you get what the gold you earn, the items, any levels you gained. And of course, one of my other complaints about this game is why do we have so many menus just to save? Why can it be, do you want to save? Yes, done, good. But hey, it's old school, it's homaging old school Dragon Quest, so it's a pro and con at the same time. 
And that is that. Thank you very much.